Welcome to my 29th birthday confessional. Uh, most of my friends and family obviously can't be with me here in Nigeria, so I decided that I would share it with you through my flip video and putting it on the internet for you to see. So, um, what time is it? Mm. It's 8.10 in the morning. I've been up since 6.30. People are coming over at 2. But I hired a woman who's a caterer to help me cook because I have no clue how to cook African food. I'm gonna go downstairs and watch her and uh, hopefully learn how to make jollof rice and African style salad and fry up meat and chicken like they do. Um, but yeah. I did that thinking, oh, it'll be less stress, but so far this morning has been a little stressful, um, both because I don't have the freedom to move around and the ability to move around like I do normally when I'm planning a party, um, but also because everyone's always telling me how I should be careful of everyone. Um, so, so far, the woman has come, and then she said that we needed more tomatoes, and then after she said we needed more tomatoes, she said, bring the meat. And then the security guards were like, no, 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 you can't give her the meat yet. You need to be here when you give her the meat. She may take some. And I was like, what? I hired this woman. I should trust her. She's nice. She's my neighbor. But uh, anyway, I didn't give her the meat. I went and got some tomatoes. I was so stressed out, nearly about to cry, but one of my security guards that stays at the house uh, took me on his bike to the market and helped me negotiate a good price and it was nice normally he's a security guard I don't really like because he always comes late and things like that but uh, he did he did a good job for me so when we came back I tried to give him 200 Nera which is about 175 because he also drives his motorbike when he's not being a security guard as a job, so I thought, oh, for fuel and things. And uh, he wouldn't accept it. So I about started crying because I was so stressed out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I also started my period today. I have cramps. It'll get better. I'm gonna go cook. We're walking down the street to grind the tomatoes and the peppers for the jello rice. Hopefully the flies fly out before we grind it. When you go to the market, you see that they are higher than what you anticipate.
She has only one daughter. Hey. That one daughter go come and get uh, my children. Hey. It's now 11.15 and it's been quite a morning. Um, up and down. Kate, my neighbor who I adore, is in a bad mood because she went to the market today and she has a bad foot and she runs the provision shop, shop yet next door so she had to go. And uh, she came back, and I'm using her fridge for some things, which she was almost insulted that I was hesitant to do because I didn't want to use her or have her think I was using her. But uh, then when I'm actually using it, I think she's just grumpy. It's not me, but since my stress was high, uh, it was tough. Anyway, uh, so I took a break for a little bit and just relaxed and spent some time by myself maybe 30 minutes in my room, and then I came out to music. The music had arrived, and Ken and Amos from work had brought it. Um, so now we have speakers and African music and a way to make it louder than my little laptop. So that's good. Um, yeah, so we're expecting, I think, up to about 50 people. I made a list of all the people I had to invite and then I cut it down and then I added spouses and stuff and I didn't realize I had so many friends. Unfortunately today I'm feeling like I have so many acquaintances um, but everyone I consider a friend seems to be grumpy or uh, has to go to a wedding or some other function in the morning so I'm feeling a little alone but I'm managing and uh, I think it's only going to get better. So I will uh, see you on the next update.